December 16th, what the heck? It's 8.30 right now. I definitely slept in way later than I was expecting, but much needed. It's so dark right now, like it literally feels like it's 7 a.m. But it is not. Um, I forgot to vlog for the rest of yesterday, so I'm just gonna edit that vlog right now and it's probably gonna be super short, but oh well. I just wanna post it so that I'm keeping up with the days. So I'm gonna do that. And then I get started on school. Okay, I just finished editing yesterday's vlog. It was so short, it was only five minutes. I, was, I forgot to film anything for the rest of the day after I left for work, but yeah, I'm just finishing uploading now. I think I'm just gonna get ready really quick. Well, not ready, I'm just gonna like wash my face and stuff and then get right into studying, yay. For lunch, I'm having mashed potatoes with mushrooms and onions. Nutritious. Okay, it's actually freezing in my house right now, so I put on an outfit that looks like I'm a 40 year old mom going on a hike, but it's warm, so that's what I'm gonna wear. I finished a chapter of review, um, and then I had some lunch, like you saw. I'm just gonna brush my teeth and wash my face now, and then probably make some tea and go back to reviewing. I also might go on a walk before I go to work because I haven't been very active in the past few days. I feel like that would just be good for me, so I'll probably do that. The class that I'm studying for right now is really weird because my prof, like, made the worst PowerPoints. He basically, like, just would copy and paste, like, a bunch of, like, books and then, like, say, oh, this book is good and it talks about this. And then he paste like, a quote from the book. But then on the midterm, like, he literally tests for, like, the most specific things ever. And it might just be one term that was in that quote from the book and you have to know it. So I'm trying to be very, very thorough and like write review questions for every single part that's in the slides, but it's very confusing. For a whole paragraph quote that you just paste it on a slide and you basically have to remember the whole thing. So it's super odd. He also requires in-text citations for like our long answer questions, which I think is very weird for like a test. I don't know, I've never had a class like that because I'm also in mainly science classes. Maybe that's something that's pretty normal for humanities, but I don't do that, so it's odd to get used to that. For the midterm, I basically just cited the textbook the entire time, the author of the textbook, because everything that my prof says is literally just from the textbook. He has no thoughts of his own. Obviously, my hair has fallen a lot. The curls from yesterday lasted way longer than I thought they would, considering that they're just heatless curls, so. My hair's still a little wavy today. I was way too lazy to do them again last night because I got home from work at like 11 or something. It was very late. I'm feeling more ready for the day and not like I just woke up and put on my comfy. So I'm gonna make some tea, tidy up, and then get back to it. That right there is a little neighborhood cat, Jasper. And I don't know what he's doing right now, but maybe he caught something because he's very into the ground. He's not even really moving at all right now, so. Oh, he's sitting, that's his back. Jesus, crikey. I don't know what tea I wanna have. Okay, I've had coffee, so we're gonna have this stress relief one. Okay, I absolutely changed my mind. I'm gonna have some green tea. I don't love green tea, but I feel like with honey, it's much better than I realized, so I'm gonna try it. I'm also gonna put it in my favorite mug. I got this from a little store in San Arm. They have the cutest little downtown area there, so I went in and got that. I also got some spatulas that have cats on them. I don't know why I'm talking about this right now. Like, that was in the summer, but I just love this mug, so I thought I'd show it off. I haven't even gone outside today, so I thought that we'd sit outside here and have some tea and have a chat. Obviously, with finals happening, I've been like, super super busy and stressed and just like constantly on the go and like in the midst of that so many things just kept happening and like there was one day where i was just like Fuck, like i can't like deal with all this stuff so i don't know i think we're gonna have a deep talk okay i think that like one of the most valuable things i'm starting to learn as i'm getting older even though i'm only 21 is that no matter what is happening like you truly are just gonna like be able to move past it i think in my first year of school it was just so overwhelming because like when i was super stressed out and i had so many assignments like 
I didn't know that I would get through it. So it was just so hard to like push through. But now like when I have a really big paper due or like a big project, like obviously I'm stressed, but I can deal with it so differently now because I know that no matter what, I'm just gonna get through it. Like it will be over at one point. And like last week, I just, I had this stupid freaking infection on my thumb and I had to go to the walk-in and then my car started like making noises. And then I just had my biggest final and it was all so much happening at the same time. It was hard to deal with, but at the same time, like I knew that I would get through it. And then here we are, like my thumb feels much better now and I'm just coming off my antibiotics. My car is gonna go to the shop on Monday. I'm like getting through my studying. It's a crow. I'm getting through my studying good for my final on Sunday. And then I just have my leftover one. Like I was super stressed because I wasn't getting shifts at work, but then like one of the weeks on my Christmas break, like I'm gonna get all of them. And I was super stressed that there wouldn't be snow, but now Big White's open and there's snow. And like, I know that I'm gonna go to go skiing over my winter break. I was serving a couple weeks ago too. And I had a guy like his friends were kind of joking it was obviously his birthday party and they all asked him like he was older maybe he's like mid 50s and they were like what's your life advice and then i was like oh i want to listen and he said okay i have separate advice for you and one of the things that he said was that just like every day be positive and i honestly think that's so important like but i really think it's important to take each thing just one day at a time and try and just like look for something good that's happening that day and just try and like be in the moment because it's so easy to just let everything like bubble up and then you're just like so stressed about everything. But yeah, that's my rant. I just wanted to get it off my chest and get some air and drink my tea. I also don't know if any of that made sense. So if it did and you took something from it, great. If not, you listen to me babble for a minute. Saley and I realized that we're actually just in the same class. Yeah. studying for the same <laughs> final so we split all the work up so i did some chapters she did some and then we're gonna split up the last one and then get to school bright and early tomorrow 8 30 after both working night shifts yeah <laughs> and just study until our exam yeah it doesn't start until 3 30 though yeah so we have time mm -hmm. so it'll be, it'll be fine it'll be fun yeah exciting okay, i'm just getting ready for work right now i kind of feel like dressing up a little more than i usually do They've also asked us to like kind of dress Christmassy, but I have no Christmassy clothes. So I found a piece of ribbon in our Christmas stuff. So I'm gonna tie this into my hair. And I was way too lazy to do the heatless curls again last night. So I think I'm just gonna put like a few curls in my hair so that when I put it up, it's just a little bit more curly than this. Okay, the clips where I'm doing my makeup are my absolute least favorite to edit. So I just didn't film that, but I've done everything but my eyes right now. So I think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do shimmer on my eyelid because that's kind of crispy, and then do some eyeliner. But we'll see how the eyeliner goes. I'm gonna try a trick that I saw on Instagram where you like tight line, but then to do the wing, you just like extend it a little bit and then use your finger to sweep it out, like from the underline part. So, hmm. It didn't really work that great, but that's okay. Okay, anyone who puts on eyeliner knows that one of your eyes is always a different, like, slope. Like, eyeliner usually looks good on this side, and then this side just, like, slopes down more or something. I was rounded at the end, so wings never look as good on this side. That's good enough, because once you put on mascara, you can't even tell. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair now. I'm just gonna do, like, a regular ponytail, and then put the ribbon around the face. I recurl these front pieces to look right. Tighten this a little bit more. Oh god, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I finished off my makeup and then curled these front pieces, so I'm all ready for work. My dad's car is at her place for the weekend, so I'm gonna drive this to work instead of my car, just so I don't make mine worse if it's an issue that is gonna be made worse by driving it. So yeah, I'm gonna take this to work today because my brother doesn't have to go anywhere for the rest of the night. This is my favorite thing. It's a spatula and it gets rid of the water on the counter so well. So satisfying. Oh, that one wasn't that good. Oh, that's not good. I'm breaking my vlogging at work rule because I'm not working right now. 
It is 11.30. It was a very late night regardless. Like usually in the winter I'm off by like 9.30, 10. So very late. But because my car is kind of broken, I took my dad's car. But my dad's car has no keys on it. And I am a closer, so I need to have my key to close the building. So I unfortunately had to call my manager at like 11.30 and be like, hey, <laughs> I feel so bad. Yeah, so she's on her way here so that she can lock the building. But yeah, I also don't have my house key. And usually my brother like is awake or like, I don't know, usually I can get into my house, but like, we'll see if the door's locked. I'm gonna have to call Zaylee. Oopsies, yeah. We booked a study room at 8.30 tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna get home, go to bed, and then, yeah. Tomorrow will be a long day. I'm actually gonna try and remember to finish the vlog. So it is so late now, it's like almost 12.30. I'm gonna shower and then go to bed, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.